I'm John Hull. I, I teach uh, in the business school at the University of Toronto. It's called the Rotman School of Management. And uh, my area of expertise is derivatives, derivatives and risk management. Well, Jerry, you're right. Um, <clears throat> there have been a lot of very well publicized um, disasters associated with derivatives, but we have to realize that derivatives is a huge uh, multi-trillion market, multi-trillion dollar market. And most of the time when people uh, trade derivatives, they're doing it for sensible reasons and we don't hear anything about it because it works out well and they reduce risk. Um, I think corporations in the United States and Canada are probably a little bit more comfortable with derivatives than in Mexico, but I, I, I expect that will change. And I expect that um, uh, uh, you know, Mexican companies will become much more, much more comfortable with derivatives as, as, uh, <coughs> as time passes. Um, <clears throat> one thing it's important to bear in mind is that uh, when, you, when a company hires somebody to hedge its risk using derivatives, it's really important to monitor what that person is doing. Um, there's, th there's always a danger with derivatives, and this is how many of the major disasters happen. If somebody starts off, they're, they're recruited by a company, maybe recruited from one of the banks by a company to hedge risks. And they do that for a while, and then over time they sort of move from being a hedger to a speculator, and nobody actually notices what's going on. And uh, of course, then things start to go wrong, and they double up, and they have a disaster. So it's really important to monitor what um, the trader who's using derivatives to hedge risk, what that trader is actually doing. And, um, <clears throat> of course, you've got to start by actually quantifying what the risks are, and then looking at what um, the best strategy is to quantify those risks. Um, so I think the danger is that companies don't monitor what the trader is doing carefully enough.